We made it! Last match of the day! Nay, the last match of the week, in fact. LFO is going up against Bang Bang Pow Galaxy. Say that five times in a row. Uh, let's talk LFO first. Or actually, let's just talk about matchup in general, because this is a really special one for a number of reasons, which are way funnier than I initially thought coming into this. Yeah, there's a lot of familiar faces on both teams that should also know each other very well. I wonder what teams they are on in the Overwatch sure. League. Seeker, uh, Zera, Mira, MCD. MCD uh, is back in the back line. That's going to be a pretty scary sight to see. Nos, Haven, Crowey, Fishcase. I'm excited to call Paintbrush's name once again as well. And uh, of course, Poundtown on the, the bench. I had to say that name. Of course, Just of course. Least. So essentially, this is LA Valiant versus LA Valiant. Yep. Uh, and I'm yeah, and I'm living for it. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Yeah, so LA There's Valiant versus LA Valiant. LA Valiant. Only one LA Valiant can make it. Uh, this is a elimination match as well. So whichever LA Valiant is worse, then they're going to lose, and the other LA Valiant will make it through. I'm, I'm hoping to see Valiant skins. I'm also interested to see which shade of better yeah. that will go for. There's plenty to choose from. Thanks, Valiant. Uh, if so... they don't have the LA Valiant skins, I am going to be so Not mad. disappointment. So mad. Uh, but shout out to paint. Paintbrush. He actually uh, made us aware that this is a Valiant off. Yeah. Uh, we had Valiant all those off. good talking points prepared for each of those players, but everything out of the window. Uh, thanks to you, Paintbrush. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. And I actually think there is a potential for this to be a close one, too. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of history players here. I mean, Seeker was just his debut in the Overwatch League was just ridiculous. Best hero, Sojourn. What meta are we in? Sojourn meta. Like, this is a very, very good meta for LFO. And uh, also, not to mention, too, McGravy in the back line as well. Old LA Valiant, also, not that version with Liar and MCD. Uh, not MCD, sorry, with Liar and uh, Seeker, but also LA Valiant. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of history between a lot of these players. But I, I think Seeker's going to be a big tool for LFO. But, um, you know, it's a decider match. Anything can go anyway. And I'm happy to see Paintbrush back in the lineup as well. He's fine. Finally got off uh, his private island. His private jet has landed back uh, back at his hometown. And he's playing once more in the server. It's, it's going to be a good time, and I think uh, these players are going to have a lot of fun in the lobby as well. I would agree with that one. I'm really pumped about this match because I think like not only is it going to be a close, but I also expect there to be some shenanigans. Like these players know each other, so I'm like hoping we get a little bit of meme potential in the yeah. lobby between these players. Control. This should be bans, yeah. honestly. <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting I'm expecting some spice in the all chat for sure. Let's see what our map selection is bringing to the table, though. Oh yes, yeah. I mean, this is. Probably just what we're going to see permanently, I think. No Elios. Oh, some teams are picking Samoa, but yeah, mainly Li Sheng Tower. A uh, fan favorite, or a player favorite, at least. I'm not sure it's a fan favorite. Maybe people in the chat hate seeing Li Sheng Tower, but uh, I don't mind it whatsoever. King's Row, and then Esperanza. I love it. We're, we're, getting a, we're getting a whole run back here, as we've seen today. A lot of King's Row. Jaws, you must be so happy. I am. Than. I have a giant Union Jack mug in front of me right now. I'm <laughs> sipping warm uh, honey tea. So yeah, it's uh, it's honestly a good time. I'm more <laughs> British at this very moment in time. Oh, I I love your Feels Britishness. Good. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. 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 Some some people really <laughs> don't, but that's uh, that's another story to tell. Yeah. LFO um, and uh, Bang Bang Power Galaxy. Also, by the way, probably the best name in the region being honest with you i mean uh, owcs wow. japan have namakuchi brothers and na has bang bang power galaxy a uh, legendary name if you want to look their uh, alternate name which they were entering the tournament with and then that's change it then you can go to Wikipedia and find that out it's a uh, pretty funny one but yeah we're going to jump into game in just a moment just making sure all the players are ready and uh wait uh, ready to go just getting the lobby set up also and then yeah uh, a pretty Hyped matchup to end the day on Rose. Of course, we had a little bit of a break with the last one, a bit of a 3 0 one side of affair, but this one much closer than uh, that for sure. Not a 3 0, I'd imagine. If I had to put Preds on it, 3 2 3 1 to LFO, but anything could happen here. I think this group is the hardest. Out of all of the groups in North America, I think this one takes the cake. Not only did LFO have a very close five map loss to Citrus Nation, who has surprised a lot of people, but you also have Luminosity. 
Not to mention all of the Overwatch League talent that exists on LFO and Bang Bang Pal Galaxy, rounded out by some stellar talent from Contenders and Collegiate. Like, look at that. That's that's tough going. I think when you when you look at that uh, that 100%. group. Hundred percent. Yeah. Oh no. A hundred percent. It it when it comes to like groups of death, if you had to put it on one, it probably <laughs> would be Group B. Yeah. I mean, um, Toronto to fight definitely head and shoulders above the rest in Group A. It's everybody's kind of fighting for the number two spot here. But with Citrus Nations uh, win against LFO, like you mentioned, uh, not something that anybody really expected. And then went to a map number five. And Citrus Nation mm -hmm. did end up losing that uh, preceding game after that. But LFO, they want, uh, uh, they know they should be second place or even first place, right? They know they belong up there. And Bang Bang Power Galaxy can be the upset. Yeah, absolutely. And maybe like LFO gets a chance to get a little bit of revenge for Citrus Nation. Yeah. But it's it's so tough because I think like in that group you expect basically every single one of those teams maybe outside of that dark horse of Citrus Nation to make it to the main event. It just so happens that they all got grouped up with each other, but we were talking to a couple of players in the North American region that said like one First seed, probably clear favorite, Toronto Defiant. But second through sixth or second through eighth is so close in terms of talent and skill level that that is a very big fight for those teams to take, like who actually falls into those spots. I think when it comes to LFO too, worth keeping in mind, like the name value as well. There's a lot of name value on both teams, but I mean, Top Dragon, who I was speaking to Avro a couple of days ago, and Top Dragon has been someone on his so radar cracked. for a long time. MCD and Laya, an extremely solid backline. Laya, uh, one of the greatest Lucios of all time. Uh, his, he, uh, their first win in the Overwatch League last year against the LA Gladiators in a map number five, where Laya like boops three people gets like <laughs> an insane kill streak at the very end the, the most godlike lucio performance i've seen in, in a while seeker of course i've mentioned already but sojourn warlord mirror is a really interesting story too i used to cast mirror way back in uh, 2018 2019 kind of time in contenders he played every single role and he was playing every single role in the overwatch league too he played support yeah. dps and tank originally like a doomfist like hits get uh, sorry projectile player um but now solidified on the tank role uh, uh, Zera is a bit more of a no-name compared to MCD, Liar, Seeker, and everybody else. Um, but they came second place in Contenders Run It Back and not someone that's uh, to be scoffed at. We are going to jump to a quick break, just making sure everybody's ready and set up to get in the last few players into the lobby. We'll talk about Bang Bang Pal Galaxy after this. We'll see you in a bit. We're jumping in. Everybody's ready. LFO versus Bank Bank Pal Galaxy. 
And uh, yeah, we were talking about Elf Hope just before we jumped mm -hmm. to the break. And uh, yeah, bang, bang, pow, nothing to scoff at here either in terms of name value. Of course, Paintbrush, uh, the GOAT, the, the player. <laughs> <laughs> the, he was the player, the coach, the GM, the, the chef. Uh, he was the, the bus driver. He was the social media manager <laughs> for LA Valiant like uh, last year. Uh, like I said, everything. graciously has joined us uh, from his uh, private yacht and uh, has managed to plug in a keyboard and mouse and is going to start <laughs> playing today. Uh, Crowey, of course, been in the Overwatch League before. Nos, too, on the same team. LA Valiant, way back when. And we weren't joking when we said it's LA Valiant versus LA Valiant. <laughs> so yeah. as we load into the first map, Rose, Li Zhang Tower, and we're going to Gardens. I'm really excited about these two teams because I think that all of these players get a chance to play their best, like some of their best heroes. Mir, Crowley, both of them showed up in such a big way on the Ramatra when they were in the Overwatch League. And so Mir not only gets a chance to run that back, but I think Crowley once again finds himself in this meta where he gets to showcase what he can do on this tank hero and pair that up with just these back lines. Like, I'm excited to see some pop offs here from both of these teams. Oh, Nos gets the first kill onto Liar. Oh, second kill too. That's what you get for not wearing a LA Valiant skin, by the way, Seeker. Yeah, you see who's got one? It's Nos. <laughs> um, worth uh, worth checking the skin there, going into map number two. All right, Nos getting a nice few kill, quick, quick and clean kills, in fact, as uh, they do take the point first. Yeah, it's a quick take, and it's also going to net Noslik uh, quite a bit of charge here. But this also is going to be a weird angle, I think, for LFO to take. You do have the Ramacha shield that can help get you through this white room, but you're also so susceptible to all this damage. Oh, someone's got a heal. Oh, Sojin. Awesome. Haven does manage to get out of the way just in time as that Vortex landed at their feet. A little recall there from Nos in the front of Mira. These fists are landing and they are punching down. They're punching the lights out of Krawi. They do end up trading their DPS for a tank here, but Bang Bang Pow Galaxy, what they've really got to work around right now. They've got a lot of heals at their back, but the point should be LFOs. Nice snipe, though, from Haven from downtown. As the point is not flipped just yet, it's actually Nos that's providing a lot of cover and a lot of, well, I would say distractions. Uh, but the rest of his team are going to come back soon. It might be less of a distraction now with the Pulse Bomb in his back pocket. Does decide to back off in the end as the LFO control the point and bang bang pow and I'm going for a reset. Yeah, but they've already walked away with 40% on that point. So now they get to come back in with five ultimates. But this is about to be an explosive fight, Jaws. There's going to be a full yeah. slate, I think, on both sides. Seeker's not too far away from the overclock either. So that could also be online. There's the rush, instantly activating the call too, and there's Noss's Pulse Bomb, a perfect connection onto Seeker. But Mira is the difference maker in the front line here. That call at his back, there's nothing that's going to stand in his way. Three kills for the Ram, and Cole, Pulse Bomb, and a rush being thrown into that fight. Still a lot to play with here if you're LFO coming into the next one. Yeah, like, while LFO did lose a very close five-map series to Citrus Nation, one of the ways that they excelled is in the Ramatra mirror. Oh, quite literally, mirror on the Ramatra is a big difference maker when you get a chance to, like, actually play that... Ramatra. His namesake. Ramatra. You're right, Seeker is not going to have the best of luck, especially getting through this over health. Haven's going to try and do him a little one better as the Ramatra is just staring at each other, just bumping each other's chests as the Annihilations rip and tear through each other. MCD randomly picks off Nos, though, on the Moira as Haven takes a priority position on the side of uh, this giant pillar, but it's actually Lyre with a couple of Cheerios with the help of Seeker's Railgun to finish him off. But still, LFO control the point. It is 70 five percent and building here as mirror is just an uh, it's just a titan in the front line bang bang pow galaxy just cannot dislodge this absolute boulder uh, he's so unkillable you have all of the moira healing which moira in this ram versus ram is so impactful just because she's she's got great healing output but then you also have liar that's just not missing the shots right now and the mobility has been so critical Browie, Doomfist, Nos and Ice Pulse, he's got to get a connection, Seeker's dodging out the way, and Nos could not find the address, so couldn't punch that one home. Ends up going down with a Pulse Bomb in their back pocket, is LFO still control? Should be an easy kill and clean up on Crowey, no cooldowns to be seen. They do manage to get the retouch here, Paintbrush diving head first into the line of fire, and they end up falling, LFO with round number one under their belt. It looked like it was a little bit slow to get off the ground there for LFO, but once they finally got control of the point, it was 
very smooth sailing. And I want to keep taking a look at how this Ram versus Ram goes, because I expect that on Control Center we'll see more of it, but on Market, this is where I would expect maybe we would see a switch up, if any. But I think like this Ram, this Moira, it's working out so nicely for LFO. So unkillable in the front line there when you've got all of that healing out into the into the ram. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see many changes. Maybe MCD switches to the Kiri, but I think that's also see. fine. Yeah, I think that's fine too. There's a lot of healing output, like you said, with the Moira, but the Kiri does uh, does enable your uh, backline to get saved by the pulse bomb. If uh, Seeker gets stuck, boom, a little uh, Suzu on the ground, and it is safe and gets to live another day and at least uh, puts some more damage down <laughs> range. Also, MCD's aim is pretty good, um, I yeah. would say. Paintbrush That's got on the receiving end of that one. Oh my god, I was like, that is like one kunai away from just immediately having a fight win there with Nos out of the picture. Alright, point unlocked for LFO. I say four LFO, it's for uh -oh. both teams, but oh, maybe it's bang bang powers now. <laughs> yeah, Mira, yeah, Mira getting a side swiped there by Haven. That'll be the cleanup, wow, as quick as you like. Okay, well, a uh, repeat of the first round here. Bang Bang Pal Galaxy gonna get control of the point first. They're moving out into this courtyard, though, because they just get better sights onto LFO as they start to move in. What you're really looking for is just, again, was the setup there onto the soldier, and you also want to force LFO to have to take some of these more close quarter fights, but I still give a pretty big leg up there to Mirror and a lot of these one games. Oh. Haven. Oh, that, that was uh, risky against Seeker's charge railgun there. Dashing through the air at half HP. Seeker willing to take the duel, though, but no! That disruptor shot kind of tickling away at Seeker's health bar. They do end up making a, a forceful push up onto this mega health pack here as Crowley and Haven just bite the dust. Bloodthirsty support or combat as MCD and Lai just clean house. MCD and Liar have been so clean with the shots there. You've got almost the Kitsune Rush online. The sound barrier is not too far behind it. And now LFO get to start their march of progress towards the second round. Zara has this pulse bomb, um, but I'm really just kind of keeping my eye on MCD laying down this Kitsune Rush over the point or even in this little choke. That looked like a hit, but I mean, maybe not. Not for the pulse bomb. Looking for a target. There's the Suzu already gone. Oh, Pulse Bomb a little bit wide. Pretty hard to uh, get someone when they're standing on that rush. Here's the sound barriers, though. It's Haven just in wrong place, wrong time. Zera sees the opening. It's Haven without the slide and without a way to escape or get healed back up. They end up falling over. And LFO just steamroll over Bang Bang Pow Galaxy. The, the, the aggression. Like, and one of the trademarks of Mira's tank style was just how aggressive he would play. Whether he had the backup or not, but I think in this case, the backup is there for LFO and the team is always behind him. So Mira's been able to play super far forward and just punishing those players that are out That's of position. Like, what, what fear? Mira has no fear. Haven already dead. I love the aggression, Rose. Exactly that. I mean, there's just nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Seeker is dismembering the backline of Bang Bang Power Galaxy at 70%, and you're looking at almost last fight here for LFO to take map one. Yeah, Mirror's just like, uh, hello, Haven. It's nice to see you today. I'm just going to stand in front of your face so you can't shoot my backline. It's working out. Uh, LFO still has this pulse bomb that they've been holding on to as well, but maybe Impound Galaxy, how do they get in on this Ooh. one? Wow, Seeker kind of uh, deep in Haven right now. Yeah, this is last fight territory, Rose, and the fight is, it, it's, well, it's already done. It's not on the, po oh, not anymore. Okay, take it back. Just evaporated, turned it into pixels. As uh, they do find the flip there, nice little flip from Nos, but it is Crowey on the Doom. Paintbrush, fish cake, maybe they get back in time? No, doesn't look like it. LFO, take map number one. I forgot they come straight to us. <laughs> Or I should say, LA Valiant take map number one against LA Valiant. No, it is uh, is LFO. That is Seeker's home ground. Not Seeker, sorry. Liar's home ground. That is where he demolished LA Gladiators last year to find their first win uh, in the overall se regular season. Good first match. It is fairly close to be fair, but right now LFO just have the tool to deal with everything that uh, Bang 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 Galaxy are throwing at them. 
Yeah, they have just that little bit of edge there with Mir continuing to take these fearless fights. Like, I, I still cannot believe you're just like, I'm just gonna just walk up to this DPS player and be like, you, yeah. now you have to deal with me. It's it's give really it, good, right? You best. just stop it on the rotation. You just yeah. see them rotating. They're obviously, they're going to be kind of grouped up, but you hit the Annihilation, you just kind of run down the DPS. Your Trace is already on the kind of flank. Like, it's a really nice play because you're also not letting them set up in a position where they can then make their move. Yeah. So ideally, they get to a midpoint, they take control of, like, Mega Health, and then just kind of push together or get an angle for the Sojourn to try and find a snipe. But they just completely uh, negate that by just running at them. Literally just WM running with Annihilation. It's good stuff. Um, King's Row up next, Rose Hybrid. Can't imagine we're going to see anything different. I think both teams, especially in terms of hero pools, they're going to be pretty confident with this. Yeah, it's I think you always run the Ramatra. Like, it just looks so good for both teams. Again, like, Ramatra, one of Crowley's best heroes. Same with Mirror, just showing that comfortability in especially a meta i think in overwatch league when we saw mirror perform that it was still very dominated by dive and wanting to show the rematra regardless so this is definitely comfort for both of these teams i think the biggest differences that we'll see is what do the supports decide to run is it going to be the moira lucio is it going to be the kiriko lucio instead and what do the dps decide to do in response to that because i think both of these teams have depth to their DPS roster, so they could come out with a variety of different duos. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely true. I think uh, when it comes to King's Row, you can pretty much run the same thing. No substitutions, I would imagine, um, as we do lock it in. Bang, bang, power, galaxy. End up uh, selecting this map, of course, as you can see by the little, by the little graphic here. King's Row up next, and um, yeah. Just keep running with the RAM, and especially if you're in the mirror and you're, you're on the winning side of things, you're more than happy to take it. You've got the confidence after map number one, you're just going to run it in and just sure. yeah, lock in. Go next map, we're ready to rock and roll. Um, we'll see on the defense first, it will be uh, LFO. So yeah, same thing, no real surprises here whatsoever. Yeah, MCD though this time is going to lock into the Kiriko right away. We did see the Moira, which I thought was a really nice pick to have in some of those more close quarter engagements. But the, the Kiriko is so nice when you have all this high ground to play with because it's way easier to just flit around the map. It makes it harder for you to be a target to some of these more long range hit scans. And for Seeker here, it's also the Sojourn pick. What does Bang Bang Pal Galaxy decide to do though here? As we see Haven hovering over the Cassidy, I don't think this is a bad choice to have for engagement like this. No, it's going to check Zera a little bit more, as well as uh, Liar too. Yeah. Not snow shot on the Widow. All good. Just hits the quick swap. There you, you go. Just try it. Can't, be can't believe LFO not running the Yellow Valiant skins. That is, uh, it's quite sad. But, That's uh, Haven. Know. That's what. This is what I want to see. I want to see how uh, well this Cassidy is going to match up. Is a Seeker Sojourn. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, there it is. Good first blood to Seeker. Oh, Mirror is just like going to go touch the spawn doors at this point just to try to clean up those picks. Nos is going to go for the Widowmaker here. Just a little bit of a way to help push everybody back, but look at the shield. There's yep. no fear. <laughs> Mirror's like, I don't care if you're on the Widowmaker. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to sit there and, and stare at you. Uh, but Haven is off the Cassidy now. Switch over to the Sojourn just to be able to contend a little bit better with the firepower the Seeker has with the Sojourn of his own. Um, but th this is so tough here for Nos. I think Nos has had a really tough time trying to pass past that grouping. Oh my god, yeah. Nos is positioning so there. Low. Just didn't want to get sniped. Oh, well, speaking of sniped. It's pretty close range, but it'll count. Oh, Liar as well. Dude, he is just a beast. The man with the golden mane. Handsome looking guy. LFO, his backline is just kind of dominating back back power right now. Two and a half minutes to go. Half the time, like, already gone pretty much. Zero's with a pulse. That'll be the first ult available for this game. And it's been two minutes. Kind of crazy, that. It's just uh, very explosive. Quick kills. No I would like to see Bing Bing Pal Galaxy try to go to the left here through Hotel. I think trying to take that high ground has been very difficult for Zera to feel like they can actually get in without uh, getting taken epic. down. Uh, Haven as well, having really difficult time trying to go through that theater to try to get access to that high ground above the point. Yeah, switch off gas too, mind you. Uh, yeah. That one, and they rolled out a spawn with it, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty rough so far. 
I mean, LFO, you've got to imagine they're a little bit mad, especially going down to a team they should be winning against in a Citrus Nation. The See, other there's day. the hotel push. Well, this ends now. But Seeker, no fear even against the window. I mean, he is just ripping and tearing through them. Seeker is, is still a beast, by the way. You must have amnesia if you forgot he's him. Like, unbelievable stuff from the Sojourn already. LFO, with a minute and 30 remaining, haven't given up a single tick. No, no progress. I, it, they've been able to barely put a toe on that point up until that last fight. Uh, they they could go in with the annihilation though. They still have a bunch of engagement tools, but like Nas is dead oh my God. already. Okay, wrap it up. Back to spawn. I've I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Wrap wrap it up. Wrap this map up or the round up. Crowy down. No ult used by well, actually, paper used theirs, but yes, that rush that into earlier. the spawn. This tempo play is just uh, too much for the galaxy. It's very much uh, on a collision course with a black hole. It feels like. Good reference. A yeah, little like bit it. of an intergalactic... I like space. Don't get me started on aliens. I, 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 I'm with understand. you. I'm with you. We would be going on for, for hours <laughs> at that point. But, um... All right. There's four <laughs> ultimates available for Bang Bang Power now as Nos peeking up uh, on that staircase. Pulse Bomb available. There's the sound barrier. Pretty late from LFO, but it manages to save Mirror, even with the slide. But he cannot just find a head. MCD's kind of duking, bobbing and weaving. Mirror just annihilation on the point. You have to touch. 15 seconds to go and Crowey accepts his fate bang bang pow galaxy maybe they get a touch but it is all so unlikely that was, that was every everything. ultimate use in that fight yeah like Crowey's gonna switch over to the doomfist at this point just to be able to try to get back in time to touch nos gets to trigger the overtime but there's no gas left in the tank here paper doesn't have the amplification matrix not close seeker's gonna have all first Mm, yeah, overclock available in 3% too, and you best believe he's going to find at least a multi-kill. Oh, get out of the way, Paintbrush. One shot to the body, and Paintbrush retreats. Crowy matches Seeker on the high ground. He is pretty low, but still manages to get away. Survives not for a moment longer, though, as he drops to the floor straight in, in the sight of Haven. Here's the rush from MCD, but unable to actually keep Mirror up, and by a, a miracle, Bang Bang Pow Galaxy managed to hold on to this push and get ticks on the board not sure there's any chance for lfo to come back no nope, definitely not anymore as sarah ends up falling so it took them four minutes but they got that payload going okay there you go so uh the key to success there was to eliminate seeker and then they were able to get the cart rolling um but in all seriousness like seeker has been a huge problem for bang bang pow galaxy and without a way to actually access him in the back line he's just had free reign over the team so crowley on the doomfist i think this is going to give them a little bit of a better shot to be able to try to disrupt that back line and mirror as well just can't sit there and keep pose on people yeah he can't do that oh missed punch all good as long as you get him past uh as long as you get the bot, or the, not the bot this time, the, uh, the payload past the uh, big archway, and we're going to be in for a good time on the streets phase. Push them all the way back to... Yeah, pretty scared. This I assume they go right with supposed to alt here, but they've got to be scared of Mira. Mira can just kind of run it down. And it is meaningful card progress for sure. Mira's going to try and get back into this fight, Rose. Yeah, but, it's, uh, he, but look how much damage he's taking. Like, he's been a huge focus. He's popping the Annihilation, but he's already so low. Oh! <laughs> Liar turned into a breakfast pancake with that uh, meteor strike. Crow picking himself up a double kill there as they get the payload going. Just uh, flies on a wall right now, our LFO. Just uh, harassing Bang Bang Pow Galaxy as much as they can, just to try and delay them a little bit further. Zera is in the back line currently. Looks like the rest of Bang Bang Pow are going to try and chase them down. I mean, there's no way Zera survives this, right? There's the recall. Where are they looking? Oh, they hit Nos with a stick. Oh, he kills oh. fish cake. No way. Nos recalls, drops the pulse right into the lap of fish cake, and that's an easy kill for Zera. No speed, no AoE healing even oh. now. Bang Bang Pow Galaxy in worse for wear have to retreat. Zera coming up huge. Wow, that, that is a huge pick because it stops the cart in its tracks and it gives LFO this beautiful defensive positioning now. This is the... This is the best place for this team to be. 
because Bang Bang Pow Galaxy don't have many avenues to actually access this cart anymore without just running into uh, the loving arms of LFO. They can make some great rotations. Look at this. Seeker ripping that overclock. He's got the high ground advantage, but Havu's got the damage advantage through this window, but Mira just says, no, -uh, not today. Shatters it as he just walks through. Crowley in trouble on the point. Only one contesting right now, not before Fishcakes does join them, but it's all Zera. It's all Zera right now. It's filling that kill feed with blue as LFO will hold the point just before second. Bang Bang Power Galaxy. By the skin of their teeth, they managed to cap the first point. So this is a cherry on top for them, almost getting it to second there. But LFO standing tall, it feels like now. Yeah, the rotations are just too good at that particular defensive point. So regardless of where Bang Bang Pow Galaxy to decide to come at them from, LFO are like, eh, hey, we just we just go over to like the stairs or behind the point. And they were just super yeah. prepared. Yeah, really prepared. Seeker, it was funny there at the very end because Seeker, at the same time the window was getting propped up uh, to look over the payload and Haven to kind of shoot through, Seeker was already mid-air, so he was kind of <laughs> lucky he didn't get just sniped by Haven, but he managed to provide enough pressure for Haven to kind of look upwards and paintbrush as well, just trying to deal with the Soja on high ground. And Mira just 180s, runs through it uh, with the Nemesis form, and, well, he just pummels them into ground beef you know like it, it was a, a little bit rough at the very end there but they still managed to get a decent distance just before that second point even though they struggled quite uh quite stupendously on first we'll see if um they can do the same though on their defense we'll see if uh, if, if it's as hard for lfo to crack the Doomfist looked really good from Crowey. Like, it opened up a lot of space. Like It was able to disrupt Mirror, so Mirror wasn't just sitting there in front of the team. And I think that you get a chance to work with the momentum of a Doomfist just a little bit better. But on the defense, it's so hard to run that hero when you need to be able to sit there and be strong for your team on the point. And so it makes a lot of sense to see this Ramatra pick come out. But it's more of the same here as we look at the almost mirror. Paintbrush A is going to stick to this Baptiste, but I think on defense it works almost even a little bit better because you have this high ground to play with and you just sit there. Zero takes a uh, risky position forward, does hit the recall before his turn to Cinder by Haven. Just want to wait for their front line right now to kind of push up and that pressure too from Seeker who tried to slide onto that high ground. They are below them currently. MCD with the Suzu saves himself. Almost gets a one clip there, but it's actually Seeker once again getting the better of Haven. Oh, and look, now Crowley's just isolated. Rough. It's real rough. Can they get any exit kills here? I mean, Paintbrush is trying, but fortunately, Seeker and Mirror are just able to round them up, and that will be the point you'd imagine. There is a potential they come back here. Fishcake is going to be able to taxi everybody, but uh, he's only just spawned. There's two ticks, so it looks very unlikely. Nosso would have to go for something crazy to uh, help them survive, so it looks like it's going to be an archway hold for now. Yeah, that's kind of what you want at the end of the day. Like, if you can come back in and contest, then you may as well take an archway. It's one of the stronger defensive positions on the second point, but that's going to be Diff. very hard to do. Oh, fish guy gets revenge. Good stuff. Passes. Same corridor, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the don't. Tracers love to fight there. I, I get it. But uh, there's still a backup. Like, we, Bang Bang Pal Galaxy can't hold forward at that point when they are missing such a crucial piece of damage. Crowley can try, but the supports can't sit there with him, and he's just getting pushed back. Oh, Seeker, leave the poor guy alone. He's had enough torture for one day, please. Seeker's just getting the better of him, getting the better of the team right now. Four and a half minutes to go. LA Valiant 1 are going to be LA Valiant 2 if uh, Bang Bang Power Galaxy are not careful. Double support are they available to the LFO as they uh, rock up to this next fight. Katsune Rush is so powerful in this position when you're just trying to continue to build the momentum that you've generated. Just lay it down over the point that uh, Bang Bang Power Galaxy have to come to you. 
I like that. So. I really like this push. Force that sound barrier super early, Rose, so they can't use it to fight on the point. Seeker eventually slain. Same with Mirror. And uh, it's just Liar on the point. Not sure Liar's going to be able to deal with Crowy, but I like the aggressive push with MCD. You use the rush to force the beat because they need to get to the point. And then next fight, we have Liar with a sound barrier, and then you have Mirror with the annihilation. Yep. There's not much, uh, there's not many tools, maybe apart from the pulse bulb or Haven and landing a cracked headshot with the railgun that could really stop them. It's a nice wombo combo to have, for sure. So LFO can work with just that general tankiness and try to bully Bang Bang Pal Galaxy off of that point. Ooh, see, Mirror's a little low, though. Oh, what a stick. Oh, MCD, so a beautiful four-person Suzu, call him Force of Negation. There's the Annihilation, Crowy and Mirror just uh, lovingly staring at each other. It eventually runs out as Haven rips the overclock. He's looking for an angle. Everybody paying for a subway ticket down there. No one sneaking past the barriers here. Haven falls, Fishcake to follow, three minutes to go, but it is going to be LFO pushing forward and surely taking this map now. Nos finds a kill onto Seeker, but that is all history. Two minutes and 48 seconds. That is just change for LFO as they take the lead in the series. Not bad, not bad. I think LFO is very hungry to be able to get that revenge again. And I think we might be looking at a very similar scenario to uh, what we saw in our previous series draws. Yep. Just looking for it. It's that looking like it. Step. Hey, it's a showdown and I'm here for it. It's good to see uh, a lot of players that are on the same team facing off against each other, even if it is a little bit more one-sided and it's nice to also call the names again. Like I said, it's good to shout out Paintbrush every now and then. A, uh, yeah, a true... A true veteran of the scene. It's uh, it's good to see. It's Esperanza is up next. Um, a push map, and like you said, Rose, probably 3-0, uh, potentially. I know the chat was voting for LFO. I think they were... I think I've got it here somewhere. Like it was 84% for LFO yeah. to 16. So, yeah. Chat's on the same wavelength, I think, of, as everybody else right now in terms of uh, who's going to win this match. But could be different on Esperanza here. It was still a good opening for, like, um, for Bang Bang Pow. Like, when we take a look at their attack push there on King's Row, they finally got some work done when Crowley switched over to the Doomfist. And I think, in general, they worked a little bit better playing a more disruptive game rather than trying to take that compositional mirror. So maybe yeah. that's something that they should look forward to is just looking at a little bit of an adjustment to help solidify a game plan there for Esperanza. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll have to see. Maybe the Doomfist is the secret source that they need. Uh, we'll have to see, of course, as we uh, just get the players ready in the lobby as we load into Esperanza in just a moment. Yeah, I mean, it just seems like, again, what I said before, uh, when we're going to King's Row, if you're really dominant on the mirror, you just take the mirror again because you're like, well, uh, we're just better right now. We just feel more confident, maybe, or just like pound for pound kind of thing, uh, especially with Seeker, who's had Haven's mm -hmm. name. It was a pretty even bout uh, in the first map, but Seeker, he just had Haven's number uh, on King's Row. But yep, as we load into the map in just a moment, we'll see if we can go to a map number four here on uh, the final final day of this weekend, final day of the first weekend too, which is uh, it's pretty exciting to be back, Rose, and it's good to see a lot of uh, familiar faces in the it scene still been. playing and still grinding. It's, uh, it's been a good time. It has been. It's been great. I've been really enjoying watching the matches that we've had over in EMEA as well. And so uh, it's just, it feels good. It feels good to be back and it feels good to see all of these players, all of these teams so hungry to be able to prove themselves in this new ecosystem that we have. I, it's sad that we're even sending a team home already when we take a look at both of these teams because it has been such a treat to see them back on the server. It has, yeah. It definitely has. Of course, yeah, like Rose, you were saying there, this is an elimination match too. So, bang, bang, pow, they go down here. They will be eliminated and LFO will move on. And, well, here you Ooh. go. Here's a bit of a change up. Crowy is going to go back to the Doomfist. Got Nos on the echo. Oh, a dive. I love this. Like, if you look at how well the Doomfist worked on King's Row, and now you're playing a map where Nos gets to show off one of his best heroes in the Echo? Like that focusing beam. Now you're putting a ton of Ooh. pressure on a Seeker. That's one way to shut Seeker down. Just random little try shots flung his way. Okay, good first blood here for Bang Bang Pow. So they get the bot going. 
Any kills? Oh, Seeker insta switching to Cass. Another very deadly hero in the hands of the young gun. Yeah, Nos is gonna have to be careful around here, now. Though. But... They have to clean these kills up. Uh... Okay, there we go. Nos gets the nice uh, try shot there onto Liar and onto MTD. Zera kills uh, Fishcake, doesn't matter though. It's a Lucio as uh, Nos takes over the game. And yeah, one of his better heroes for sure. And he's displaying exactly why. And we've seen Echo be a really nice meta pick to have just for the opportunities you can take with that duplicate. I'm looking at a oh. bunch of really nice targets there for Nos to choose from. You've got like the Suzu from the Kiriko if you want to take the utility. Mirror has switched over to the Zarya, so does not want to play that Ramatra anymore. Will want to try to go for those bubbles instead. And it's also a great way to try to get access to that Echo if you can, but uh, also makes yourself a dupe target too. Now, Haven was playing with the cover of darkness there, just trying to sneak by the enemy team. Nos with the duplication on the Zarya. I like it. Provides a lot of support to your Doomfist, but you just get chunked out so quickly. And there you go. The dupe ends up fading away without a free grab. A rush from the high ground, but Seeker tries to push everybody back with the dead eye. Takes down Fishcake. Does end up getting pulsed, but completely worth. Fishcake and Nos fall in here. This is surely a fight winner for LFO. Yeah, now you might want to consider grouping up. Uh, Crowley's going to try to walk away with another pick there, but it is going to be LFO taking back control of this bot. Uh, just shy of Bang Bang Bow Galaxy being able to grab that first objective. But this is a huge switch up here for Bang Bang Bow Galaxy to take. Uh, Haven on the Cassidy, Nos on the Tracer. Crowley now going to be going over to the Ramatra. We might be seeing a little bit of Rock, Paper, Scissors in this uh, map, Jaws. Yeah, big bit of counter swapping happening right now, yeah. Probably, I would imagine Mir is probably going to change in a moment. Uh, well, when they uh, end up resetting. MCD, yeah, resets forcefully by Haven's headshots coming out of that Peacekeeper. That <laughs> magnet is so silly. Oh my god, how high was Lyra in the sky? It was like touching the skybox. All right, Haven getting yet another kill. I can imagine Miri's definitely just going to stay for one Graviton Surge. Crowy somehow playing uh, Wanted on PS2. Hook around <laughs> the corner, somehow kills Liar. Sure. Pa uh, the payload is moving on yet again, Rose, as they should just be able to get the point here. No, you, you can't let them have that. Mir is back with the Graviton Surge. You do not want them to get this checkpoint if you can help it. So we are going to see the Contest come through, and Bang Bang Cal Cal Galaxy, they got to back up from this. They know that Mirror has this grab. Pretty early bubble use on Seeker, just to get him underground. Graviton Surge available from Mirror. Just got to find targets, and, uh, well, there, he's staring at him. Nice little grab on the wall, the target's haven, and there it is. Easy kill. This fish cake did end up using the sound barrier, but I did not see any overhealth go apart from his own, so not sure how many people that hit. Even if it was a quick burst down of that overhealth, or it was a bit of a, a waylaid beat. I'll be Liar picking up some kills in the kill feed. Love to see it as they get the bot moving in their favor. That Graviton Surge use, Prig Ultimate, but now they can just run into them with a sound barrier. This should be LFO's fight to win. Yeah, and the Seeker can create a ton of space there with the Deadeye as well. We haven't really seen Deadeye be one of those explosive fight winning ultimates by getting multiple picks, but this high ground is all to play that, for here. Okay. Just one clipped Nos. Alrighty, well, there's the high noon kill onto Fishcake as well. Magnate on top. I don't think, I think Nos as well had recall. I could be mistaken there, but I think Zera just cleanly one clipped uh, the enemy tracer. And there you go. Checkpoint unlocked. They're going to wait for the butt scratch mode and uh, just retreat to the high ground for the time being. Don't need to be on the point right now. Mir feels comfortable in this matchup. Doesn't want to go back and Zara. play the Ramatra. Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm really excited to see this pick come out because I think that Zarya is very underexplored in the North America region right now for OWCS, but it's showing up in a big way. And those bubbles are a really nice secondary utility to have against something like this Tracer Pulse Bomb. Ah, classic Esperanza. We have the checkpoint, and you have to try and get to high ground. Ah, Zera <laughs> recognizes that. Bang Bang Power trying to give them the little one-two buckle machine as they end up wrapping around onto the high ground, dropping and descending on LFO. High noon from around the corner, but there's the stick. Good cleanse once again. Haven holding it for the entirety 
of the high news duration, and MCD just puts one straight between the eyes and kills him with a headshot of the kunai. Annihilation, though, from Crowey is looking great. He ends up falling over, but he's done the damage that was required. 67 meters and a little bit for LFO's push, and now it's Bang Bang Power Galaxy's time to try and get that checkpoint. All right. Past the halfway point. And they got a little bit of meters to make up, but you still have four minutes left on the clock here for this map. And this is very, very doable and very winnable here for Bang Bang Pow. Mirror has the grab, though, and so they cannot play too out of position. That's an easy <gasps> let's go. Okay, I thought that missed. It got fish cakes. It's all good. I got my one. Mirror, no bubbles available, going super low. And yep, that's the problem with Azaria. As soon as you pop one of those bubbles, you best believe they're breaking it and then just shattering her skull on the retreat. Uh, Zera with a nice melee kill onto Haven. It's going to you know, delay a little bit, but this checkpoint is surely bang, bang, powers. Yeah, and mirror switches. At that point, like, the, the Zarya, I think, did, did the job. You didn't really want to give up the ultimate, but you keep a considerable amount of charge. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Haven's on soldier. 76 now, yeah. All right, fair enough. I mean, getting back to the high ground really quick. Okay, no, nope, Cassidy never mind. Change his mind. And Seeker just takes care of Nos. I mean, Haven, they know Haven's in spawn. If they, they hit the tab real quick, so Seam Swatch the Soldier and Seam Swatch to Gas, they know roughly where Haven actually is. So, LFO, just steal the bot. You haven't got high ground. You haven't got your main DPS, like, long-range damage dealer. Like, we're just going to steal this from you. Yeah, that feels so devastating because they were so close to being able to take back control of the lead. But now you've given a lot of momentum back over to LFO here who have the Kitsune Rush. All right, Zera. Checking his like for like in Nos. Aided with MCD to take him down. Sound Barrow from Fishcakes hits four, but can they find kills? MCD still super low. Not worried about himself though, clearly. Zara with the pulse bomb, but the bot is still waking, making its way past Bang Bang Pow Galaxy. LFO just stealing this one and forcing Bang Bang Pow to retreat, but they're now stuck between a rock and a hard place. That hard place being Mirror Frontline and the other one being their spawn. Seeker and MCD do end up falling over as Bang Bang Pow just uh, collapse on them. That should be the fight. There we go. Ba bot back in their control. Two minutes to go, though. This game couldn't be closer. And that's four ultimates here that they Ming Pao can work with. And that means that, like, not only is this two minutes, plenty of time in the bank, but this is this is also like a like a still incredibly winnable situation for them. Can't falter though here. They've really got to clutch up in these final moments, and it's going to all start with whether or not they can get through Seeker. All right, drop down from the high ground, thinking they can just fight on this little corner. Makes the most sense as uh, Mirror is also kind of hanging out there for the time being. And like you mentioned, Rose, massive ult advantage here. There's the rush around the corner. Suzu on the wall, might as well make use of it. Seeker's in the back line with the overclock, but can't quite click their heads. Trying to get an angle, but can't quite do so. They seem to swap sides once again. And Mirror can just wait this one out, pop the annihilation of his own. And look at Crowey, so low, requiring so much support to keep him alive. But Mirror is just tearing through him with the annihilation. A Pulse Bomb and a High Noon still available for Bang Bang Pow, but LFO have the man advantage as they do move on forward. And with 60 seconds to go, this is LFO pushing for the win. It is, but Bang Bang Pow can still come back into this one. I, I think it's tough, though, when you're looking at Haven's ultimate is not necessarily like the, the same type of power as the soldiers, but it can still help to push LFO back. Push, 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 push. Sound barrier available. Karawi already dead. The pulse bomb lands, takes care of Seeker. But Liar, he doesn't mind. Fish cakes with a two-mount sound barrier with 30 mm. seconds to go. Bang Bang Pow just need to go for a reset. One more fight to keep themselves in the series. Oh, that's just like, that's just such sad value to see out of a sound barrier there. Haven's actually gonna rush back over on the soldier, but LFO, they, they, this is their map to lose at this point. They even they give up control push. of the bot. They, yeah, they just have to play keep away here. Two seconds to go. Bot in control, and as soon as that time ticked down to OT, Lia says go. Dive the back line, and dive they do. Bang, bang, pow, just collapsing in on themselves. Every Sar has to die eventually as LFO take the series 3-0. to zero. So well played at the end there. That was just great patience 
and execution in those final moments. And LFO, like, they're back. They're back for a vengeance. They want to take out Citrus Nation and they want to continue to prove that they are some of the best in the business. I think that they showed that today. Yeah, LA Valiant 1, 1 over LA Valiant 2. There you go. <laughs> there is the headline. LFO taking the W and Bang Bang Pow, unfortunately, now eliminated. Zoe. That was uh, a little bit more one-sided than I think a lot of people wanted, but that was still yeah. just a, an outrageous display of skill from both teams. I mean, it was, and that's what makes me happy about it, right? I'm, I usually am not a fan of stomps, per se, but it's also great to see LFO and the entire crew just, like, really yeah. stepping it up and giving themselves a really good chance and progressing through this tournament, as I do want to see more of them. There are so many well-known faces on that roster who haven't got an opportunity to really be at the top of things right so i think this is their moment so let's uh, review some of uh, their gameplay as we saw throughout the series lots of standouts uh, on both sides i feel oh yeah definitely i mean especially this first map um and rose is kind of picking up on uh, uh, picking up on this was haven and seeker this big duel haven and seeker were going toe to toe it very much felt like okay Haven's time to shine, Seeker's time to shine, Haven's time to shine, but it felt like Haven at the very end was kind of running out of a little bit of gas and Seeker just took over the game on the Surge. No, but then you also have to look at just the front lines going at it too. Crowley versus Mirror. I think Mirror has always been very comfortable with those Ramatra mirrors, and it, it shows, I think, with just how much space he's able to create for the team and how little fear he has to just walk forward and trust that Lyre and MCD are going to keep him topped up. Yeah, yeah, look overall, at that. <laughs> there was overall there wasn't much like comp swapping and like we did see a little bit of Crowy on the Doom Fist and it did fairly well on King's Row. It finally like unlocked the point for them. But oh this stick was so ridiculous, man. I would feel so bad if I was the Lucio there. Your tracer recalls and drops the pulse bomb at your feet. Like uh, it, it can't be helped. It can't be helped. Some, you know, sometimes it happens like that. But it was nice to see a lot of um, compositional changes here as well. And um, I think, I don't think many people forget, but uh, there's a lot of new viewers here as well. Mira is a fantastic, was a fantastic DPS player. And he played a lot of Zarya way back in the day when he was playing, um, yeah. uh, playing in like the Ghost meta. So uh, the guy is just so mechanically gifted and being able to play three roles at the highest level, which he did and was the first one in the Overwatch League. It's, it's no problem for him to jump on any other tank that's uh, currently available that they need to play yeah and that's the flexibility you need currently in this meta in this format so that's what's going to get you come out on top uh, now you did touch on the soge battle early on and when we looked at the highlands and now we got seeker joining us for a quick chat first of all congratulations on the big dub it's great to see you again Thank how you. are you doing i'm doing good it's been a while you know haven't been uh on the main stage for a bit so it's good to see everybody back again <laughs> yeah we were super excited heading into this thanks to paintbrush we were also reminded this is a bit of a valiant showdown uh so <laughs> that was fun <laughs> leading up to it obviously a lot of familiar faces on the server not just on your own team also on the opposition does that motivate you more is that more fun to play against people you know uh... Yeah, I mean, it was it was more relaxed, kind of fun, just playing against like the old Valiant guys. You know, they're they're just kind of doing their thing. It was it was a fun match. I do want to I do want to pick up on that as well because Paintbrush said everybody was going to wear LA Valiant skins, and you, uh, yeah, you, you, where's the Soji LA Valiant skin? Uh, I mean, if they want to buy it for me before the match starts, <laughs> <laughs> open up the wallet, chief. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm just been so sick this whole series. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, pretty based. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Well, Seeker, I want to ask you a little bit about moving forward. LFO now has the opportunity to play once again against Citrus Nation. And can you give us a bit of an insight there on like, are you guys feeling confident going back into that matchup? Could you maybe give us a little bit of maybe what do you feel like went wrong in the very first match that you guys had played? Um, I think we're still like a really new team. So there's like some teamwork issues we haven't like sorted out yet. But I think we kind of let that match get away from us. Like on Esperanza, we had a pretty big lead, but we kind of just like, you know, choked. So I think next time we're going to do a lot better. You know, we're getting back into it. Everybody's kind of like molding together now and more of like a real team. But definitely before, like it was just teamwork. Our teamwork wasn't that great. 
It really was just a scrim, right? You run it back, yeah, push it up in the next one, game, so yeah. true. and we go from there. That's right, that's right. Well, Seeker, thank you so much. Once more, congratulations. We're very much looking forward to the rematch. Thank you very much.